It's there's candy inside. Oh, I see. It floats. This is what you're supposed to do, I think. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Here comes. Oh, I'm man. rolling down a river of period blood. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. It's just like that level in Super Mario RPG. Yeah, I know. Remember when you had to ride the barrel down the period blood? Yeah, that was my favorite part, actually. I think it's all of our favorite parts. Yep. Okay, so, um, now this is straight up reminding me of a level from Donkey Kong Country. So I, kn I know you get points for this, but do you really want to be, like, eating, like, ice cream and stuff from, from a sewer? What was it? What, what, like... What was that line in Kid Icarus Uprising? Why do you always eat food that you just find on the ground? Yeah, that's... <laughs> This is that's when you eat some. I've seen you eat some pretty questionable things off the ground. And then what does he say? I don't remember. Wasn't it like floor ice cream gives me health? Yeah. I really ought to finish that game someday. Yeah, you do. I bought it like thirty years ago, and I'm not even halfway done. Thirty years ago. That's how long it's been out, right? Kid Icarus Uprising released nineteen. 70, I can't do math. 1970-12. Okay, thank you. Okay, apparently now we have to ride the barrel back down another river of period blood. This is, this is a really, this was the inspiration for the game Heavy Rain. The original <laughs> project title was called Heavy Flow. <laughs> This is top quality, top dollar, classy humor right here. <laughs> it certainly is. Well, that was the end of that. That was the center sewer. I really hope that we're not like... I, d I really hope that there isn't even more sewer. We're going to the right wing sewer next. Even better. I think we're about to fight a boss. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if I want to trust this trash can. It says I'm going to need the whip, so I'm going to take the whip. And then immediately lose the whip. If there's anything you should learn, always trust a golden trash can. Man, that whip just keeps breaking. Told you this was Castlevania. Yep. Special guest star. <laughs> Dying animals. Oh my god, what sort of sick ring are you running over there? The dying animal one? You're a monster. <laughs> You sound just like my mom. Me or the cat? Both. I always knew you must have had a funny childhood. Okay, so now we're back in America City. With another Yay. fucking bird. And you can't attack at all when you have the bird, so... What a useful power-up. The egg on oh my god, power. how are you even supposed to get past that part? There's like alligators and falling letters and everything is trying to kill you. <laughs> this is just like kindergarten. I know. Okay, if you head the letters... I hated alligators in kindergarten. And all the signs that were trying to like fall on you and kill you? Yeah, that was stupid. Okay, so apparently this Tweety Woody motherfucker is going to kill the alligator for me. Now all we have to worry about is this stupid sign. Okay, so we got the bird and our spring hair back. The sun will come out tomorrow. Yay. Hey. 
You can pretty much beat this? any given level by just running to the end. I want to yeah, go well, back just... and get all that food I missed. Watching this makes me want to play Yoshi's Island. That makes sense. Do, 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 it's do, because do, of the spring, do, do. isn't it? So Yoshi has that power up where he's got like a spring coming out of his head. And his shirt like goes up and down as you're bouncing. Yeah. Yoshi's a pretty snappy dresser. I don't like to play games with nudity in them. Why are you playing this one where this rodent keeps flashing you? See, that's different. It's artistic. It's tasteful. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just don't get it. I'm not arty enough for this. You're not. Rocky rodent. You're a simpleton. Rocky Rodent is a high art form, though. Not many people can get it. <coughs> there are way too many city levels in this game. Like, you need a form of padding, insert city level. That should be a commercial Sonic for tampons. Generations. This game was the inspiration for Sonic Generations. <laughs> yes. Who are we kidding? Rocky Rodent was the inspiration for all games. Yep. Okay, this Except bat there's... dude hasn't had enough, apparently. And he's gonna kick our ass. What a bad dude. Why does every character in this game wear sunglasses? Because everyone in the city is cool. It's America's city. This boss is going to be even more of a joke now that we have the mohawk, isn't it? <laughs> like, I thought it was fun with the spring. This is just going to make it ridiculous, pathetic, easy. They, The projectiles literally just bounce off your head. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. Okay, if they hit you in the back, then you die, but whatever. You have to believe. That's the one thing you have to do. Whoa, okay, he's breaking the floor. Shit. That's not even polite. Not even good sportsmanship. You're setting a bad example for America City. Poop. Okay, it helps if I actually aim my invulnerable shield. How many hits does this douchebag take? Way too many, apparently. Okay, challenge is one thing, but when you just make a boss take a ridiculous amount of hits. Okay, so he's not even going to come into range now when the floor breaks. Okay, this this is this is interesting. I did not see this coming. What? The uh, the floor all breaking and now I have to and... now he's like throwing oh. hula hoops at me for some reason, and I have to ride them to the top. Ride like the wind, bullseye. <coughs> that's hoops. that's not even cool. Oh, it's gonna turn into a rooftop rumble. I see where this is going. Okay, this is actually kind of clever for a boss. And it's trying to trick me into giving up the actually good weapon. That's not going to happen. That's probably going to happen, because I'm going to get hit. Wow, I'm like some sort of psychic. Goodness sakes. <sighs> what a bad boss. I don't know how to hit him without actually getting hit myself. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Now this is just confusing. Oh, okay.
okay, I think I get it. You're supposed to bounce off the tiles and then hit him. Why does this bat have, like, such a strange array of powers? He has mines and apparently telekinesis and hula hoops. They're gonna make, like, a Marvel movie about him. They can call him Batman. This is gonna be The Dark Knight Rises. It's, it's not even about, like, Bruce Wayne. It's this guy. Yep. The weird bat boss from Rocky Roden. That's the only character they change. Everyone else is the same. Like, they still have the original Batman villains. Just insert this guy. Yeah, Commissioner Gordon Colts. Someone called the bat boss from Rocky the Rodent. That's what his name is listed as in the phone book. <laughs> <laughs> the bat boss from Rocky the Rodent. Okay, he only took a billion hits, and apparently he's gonna come back later. That's charming. Okay, so this super mutant works for a human with no powers. That's yep. that's how the chain of order goes. That boss from Rocky the Road begins. And apparently when the clock strikes midnight, we're going to die. This is oh, well. Let's Play Cinderella. <laughs> is that what happened in Cinderella? Clock struck midnight and she died? <laughs> yeah, she just she just died. <laughs> Oh, cool, back to child abuse, the game. Oh, apparently Luigi's going to rape her. Oh. Typical Luigi. She says her father will get even, but he hasn't actually done anything productive this whole game. A woodpecker has accomplished more than her father has. Oh, look, another city level. No way. I think that's a great place to call it a day. <laughs> this has been Let's Play Beauty and the Beast, starring special guest Canada. And featuring the bat boss from Rocky the Rodent. With musical talents by The Who.